Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Clarissa and welcome to Life of Claire. I hope that you hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you like what you see and you want to stick around and join the family. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, of course, thank you so much for um, clicking my video and, you know, sticking around. Sticking around. Today, I wanted to go ahead and go through what is in my travel bag. Um, I've seen in the past people have done this, uh, not so much recently, um, this is probably like old school YouTube <laughs> when they used to do like the what's in my purse or what's in my travel bag and things like that. So, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do that. This shirt is kind of weird. Hopefully you guys, I don't know, find it entertaining and cool. But um, other than that, like I mentioned before, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell beside the subscription bar so that you get alerted every time I upload. Other than that, uh, let's get into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and break down what is in my travel bag really fast. On the outside pockets, we have my deodorant that stays in here because this is my travel one. It just stays in this bag. Uh, and then, of course, on this outside, I have, like, a, like spare razors and, um, let's open this. Mine zips open from the front. And I like this. I think I found this at Sephora. Um, it came with travel bottles that you can kind of pour things in to take with you. So these, all this stays in here. This is, what is this? Facial cleanser, some micellar water. This I need to refill. This is conditioner. <laughs> is that? That's shampoo. Shampoo. This is conditioner. Um, it comes with a little, like, spongy thing. And then, of course, I have my body lotion that's in here. So that's just, like, the body care stuff. I don't travel too often. Usually when I do travel, it's for work. Um, or to visit family and that happens like a few times a year not not that often um, But yeah, so then this opens up like This this is where all the good stuff is basically so I have all of my makeup products and Skincare things in here. So I'm gonna pull out all my brushes that I have in here and talk about them briefly I think the last thing I packed in here was for my trip to my brother's for Thanksgiving. So that's basically how long this has been packed in here. Okay, so for travel brushes, these are the ones I packed. It seems like a lot, or maybe to some people it seems like a too few brushes to pack considering you know what we use on the daily for our face. Um, but I'll go through them really quickly. Of course, I always pack a sponge, sponge right here. This one is the beauty sponge from Cream Shop, the Cream Shop. Um, so that's always in here. I always pack a sponge no matter what it is. Um, I just always need one. This is a foundation brush, like a Kabuki brush is from Morphe. This is the E31. Um, I also packed the Real Techniques setting, um, setting brush? What is this brush? I don't know. The setting brush, yeah. But I use this for highlighter. Um, I have a flat foundation brush that I usually use to sets my concealer with. This one is from Kala. This is another kind of highlighting brush that you can use for highlighting, for contouring, setting under the eyes. This one is from the Cream Shop. It's technically their highlighting brush. Eyebrow brush, groomer brush from Smashbox. My tried and true, my favorite brush. Um, it comes with me everywhere. Okay, then I have uh, this under eye setting brush from Sonia Kashuk. It doesn't have a name, but it's like a tulip setting brush. <gasps> Use that for under the eyes too. We have the Cream Shop, I think. No, it's Kala uh, powder brush. You could use for powder, bronzer, blush. I have a slanted powder brush. You can use it for contour. You can use this for blush if you really want to get in. You can use it probably for highlighting if you're very careful. And the last face brush I have is this one is the blush brush from Real Techniques. I actually have been using this for bronzer a lot lately. I just think it's perfect for bronzer. Um, and But you can also use it for blush, of course, or powder, depending on how 
you know, smaller, larger faces. And then the two eye brushes that I always keep in here, apparently these are the only two that I packed in here, are the Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush, as you guys have seen me use plenty of times, and then my MAC 217. So those are the brushes I packed in my travel bag. I just end up throwing them wherever they fit. But yeah, let's uh get into what's next. Okay. Oh, I packed another sponge in here apparently too. Okay, so for skincare or for prepping the skin, um, in my travel bag I packed the Mario Badescu setting spray. This is, or the skin prep spray. This is the one with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Two moisturizers. The Tony Moly, Tony Moly Aloe Soothing Lotion. Um, you guys already know I love Tony Moly products. And then I also have the Provise Skin Type 1.6 Hydro Milk um, Moisturizer. This one contains, um, how do I say? Just a lot of antioxidant type of properties in this one. This one is more for like if my skin's really textured or kind of flaring up. This is really good to kind of soothe the skin um, and kind of relax it down a little bit. So you never know where you're on a trip. You never know what you might need. I think that's all for skin prep. So for primer, I have two, oh my god, there are all these Q-tips just falling out everywhere. So for primer, I pack two. This is the Milani uh, Prime Perfection Pore Minimizing and Hydrating Primer. Obviously, I am basically done with this. I love this stuff, and I hope it's just like a little bit left for me to use it because my skin is super peely. And of course, for like smoothing out the skin, making the makeup last just a little bit longer, um, and filling out maybe the lines and wrinkles, or I don't know, just making your skin a little bit more top notch. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer that I pack and this is the travel size one too. More Q-tips just falling out. L'Oreal. You already know. You already know. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation. I am more dry. Anything that's going to be glowy, last all day, make my, look, my skin look amazing. I'm gonna definitely go for these. These are the two shades I pack with me, 205 and 209. One's a little bit too light, one's a little too dark, so I mix them both and I get my beautiful shade. And for a setting spray, now, I love this so much, and if you don't believe me, just look how much is left. For setting spray is the Milani Make It Last 24 hour, I lie, 16 hour setting spray. It's a primer, corrector, setter, kind of all in one. That is all I have left. Of course, I'm packing a corrector for under my eyes, and this is going to be the Becca Backlight Targeted Color Corrector in Peach. I always, I always pack a corrector. Um, it's not always the Becca one, to be honest. Um, I always alternate between... It's either A... I'm packing my cream contour kit, which has correctors already in it. So it's one item, has contour corrector in one or I'm packing my LA color ones um, or I'm swapping it out for this one it just depends on how my skin is doing and if I anticipate getting some sleep to no sleep the two palettes that I packed in here which have a lot of love and I absolutely adore them and love them it is the Shan XO palette she recently came out with the new remix one that I want to get this is the nine color eyeshadow palette and the nine color uh, lip palette in one so you flip one side open you have all the beautiful eyeshadows and then you flip the other side open and you have lip products so you don't have to pack a ton of lip products because um, you have some right here and it comes with a mirror of course I'm extra you can do plenty of looks with this one as you can see and I'll show you there are a ton of warm shades neutral shades some pops of color really beautiful every day or smoky palette um, warm toned it's beautiful I love it so much it's gotten a lot of love um, but of course I'm extra so I always bring with me because I never know if I want to go like a one I don't know I just bring this with me it's kind of like my safety kind of this is the shadow couture world traveler palette from Anastasia comes with a mirror of course it is dirty and this gives me a little bit more pops of color some more warm tones some silver some gold so this is like the more like glam type palette I like to say um, it just gives me a little bit more options that the Shanix so doesn't. It gives me some blue, some pink, some purples. It has an actual black. So those always come with me when I travel, to be honest. I never leave without these two palettes. Setting powders, 
It is going to be my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in 01. This is in 01 light, actually. Um, this one is good for the winter. I, I only pack one because I can set this under my eye and I can use this for my whole entire face because I'm not so tan. Um, I also have number two for my more tanner days. And then the Milani Prep Set and Go face powder that is completely broken, but you can see I've hit pan and I will still continue to use this because I love this so much. I usually just use this for my the areas where I've placed concealer down. I always carry a contour kit, whether it's going to be a cream contour, contour stick, um, or just, yeah, I just always carry a contour powder this time around. Usually it's this one though, just because the packaging is thin and sleek and it gives me a couple different options. So if I forget a bronzer or if I get a setting powder, if I want to brighten under the eyes, I have options. I can use contours, shades, I can have a bronzer if I forget a bronzer. Um, this is the one in medium, I think, no matter where I go. A bronzer that's always going to look nice no matter what. I don't have to even think about picking a bronzer, the undertone, or anything. It just doesn't look perfect every single time. It's going to be my Marc Jacobs bronzer and this baby. It doesn't look like I've touched like any of it, but I'm telling you, I've had this for like two years and I use it quite frequently and I still have so much product left over. It is insane. And that mirror is beautiful and big. I love it so much. This always comes. It's just the perfect undertone, perfect bronzer for me. I love it to death. Blush is just one of those things where, to be honest, I don't really think about too much. I honestly just pack one that um, I know is going to look pretty always. And it may not necessarily go with my look, but I just, I always need to have it in my bag because I just feel like it looks beautiful no matter what. Um, and that is Milani's Luminoso. I had this for so long and it lasts for quite a while too. Um, if you don't have this, go and get it. It's obviously really old and beat up because it's been in my travel bag so often. And really quickly, since I didn't have a cream product um, for contour, apparently I packed my contour stick, which obviously get, does get a lot of love because that's how small it is right now. <laughs> this is really good for easy contouring, like underneath the foundation. If you want a more natural look and you don't want a powder count, powder found powder contour on top. Wow, that was hard to say. So for highlight, I have always two highlighters that I bring with me. One that's more subtle and is more kind of like everyday, and another that is going to be a little bit more intense. So for the everyday highlighter, it's the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I love this. Go and get it. You'll thank me. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's beautiful. And the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This is in the one named Precious Petals, which is beautiful, gorgeous highlighter. These two together, bomb. For brows, always Smashbox Brow Trio, or what is this called? Brow Tech. This is the one in dark brown. I love it. I've hit pan on both those powders, and I've had this for so freaking long. So long, and it's still going strong. Never lets me down is perfect. Concealer, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I don't usually take this for my travel things, like in my travel bag, but I did pack this this time around just because it was Thanksgiving and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I really love the gold in this uh, little palette. This is the Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow in 2.0. This is called the Top Shelf. Um, I used the gold in here one time before and it is absolutely beautiful. Such a beautiful gold. It's like a taupey, antique bronzy gold. White powder from Milani. The setting powder got everywhere in my bag. So the last few things are kind of odds and ends. I'll do these two mascaras and then lip products. So I have the Brow Plumper, which is from L'Oreal. the Brow Stylist Plumper in medium dark, I believe. Medium to dark, yes. This, you guys have seen it in my channel plenty of times. Great brow gel. Never lets me down. Tried and true. You, I'll probably never go away from, like, this brow plumper. Never. And then for mascara, the, of course, it's L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Even better than the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. 
For lip products, that kind of switches with the season. If it's more summer, if we're in summer, it's going to be more peachy, more pink, more light. If we're in the fall, it's probably going to be more like mauve -y type tones. In the winter, they're definitely more like browny type um, of lip shades. Um, so this is my MAC lipstick in taupe, which is beautiful. This is my um, Wet n Wild lipstick in Mocha Licious, which is a, like a deeper brown lip liner in mauve. And it's always a gloss. I always have a gloss and it's usually either this one or the other one in like buttercup or buttercream or something. This is the one in Angel Food Cake. If I want to add just a little bit more pinkiness to the browns that are happening. Um, so that basically completes everything that is in my bag aside from my Japanese waterless brush cleaner that I use when I am traveling because I don't have time to clean my brushes. If I'm, if I'm gonna be doing makeup every single day I need to like kind of spot clean in between. This is what I use. Alright so that basically completes everything that was in here. As you can see it is now empty. That took a lot longer than I expected. I didn't think I had that many items in my travel bag but apparently I do. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably doing a separate video for a tutorial um, but we'll just kind of end the video here that is everything that I pack honestly I like to pack things that aren't gonna break so easily or that honestly is gonna give me what I'm looking for as far as quality formula uh, pigmentation but that if it breaks or if my bag gets lost I'm not out hundreds of dollars because all I put in there was like Chanel and Becca stuff you know what I mean like I grab things that are easy that I can easily find and grab again and that isn't gonna break my bank bank to replace so things like essence and wet and wild um, L'Oreal those type of products you can easily find somewhere um, find at the drugstore find at Ulta um, but other than that I hope you guys were okay that I was bare-faced in all my beautiful glory and splendor uh, <laughs> but yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, officially sign off Alright guys, so see ya. Catch you in the next video. That's not my outro. What are you doing, Clarissa? Stick with the program. Alright guys, so that completes this video. Like I mentioned before, please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.